Okay, what I want to show you here is how to um, make an animation. Uh, to do that, we need to start extracting some of the individual images from our uh, original movie file. To do that, I'm going to use a piece of freeware that's around uh, called Registax 5. Really straightforward to use. Um, we've opened up Registax 5 there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my image. Um, for the sake of um, picking one, I'm going to use one I've done today which is just a um, it's a hydrogen alpha image a near full disk image of the sun taken through the PST uh, and DMK31 camera um, okay a few things about it first um, down here at the bottom of Registax 5 this is, this is quite a useful thing here we've got this slider which is going to go through the um, through the frames I've got about 800 and something there as you can see um, you can see the sun's drifting across the image there. Um, it was mounted on a, on a camera tripod. Well, this is going to be quite a useful piece of kit, this this slider here. Um, you've got to imagine that we've got some kind of transit going on, so maybe a plane transit or a bird transit in the sun, maybe even an ISS transit. Um, and we want to extract that from um, from the movie. Okay, so um, for argument's sake, say, for instance, we, we can see down here there's... Um, there's a frame indicator number. It's telling us there it's on frame 263. Um, for argument's sake, let's say for instance, um, as we're scrolling through, we see that we want to start removing frames from, say, frame 100 through to frame 125. Okay, so first thing I want to do is um, I'm going to select here, up round about here, is region of interest. I'm going to select none for this um, because to date we don't have a region of interest. Okay, and the second thing I'm going to do is also select up here. I've got this thing called a frame list. I'm going to select that. Okay, and what you can see, this um, gives a whole list of all the individual frames that are in this movie. Now, um, like I say, we want to uh, we we want to take out um, frame say 100 through to 125 on this, and it's really quite easy to do. So I'm going to I'm going to decheck that list like so. Um, I'm going to find myself frame 100. Um, imagine, as I say, on here that um, frame 100 is where our transit begins, for instance, or, or the information we want um, begins. So um, we'll find frame 100, which is on here. So click on that. We're going to select that. I'm holding the shift key down here, and I'm going to work my way through. There might even be a quicker way for doing this, but at the moment I'm not sure what it is. But um, if you can see here, so I'm selecting them through all the way through. Whoops, there we go, down to frame 125. It might be more, it might be less, it depends on what you're trying to do. I'm just going to do 25 here just for the sake of um, speeding up the process a bit. So we've got that um, 25 frames out of the 800 and something selected. Okay, next things next is I'm going to click the limit button. Which is a um, usual thing on um, on Registax when you're following it through. And down here, you can see it's telling me that I've got I've actually got 26 frames there. I am selected. I've got a stack size of 26. What we want to do now is save each one of these individual 26 frames to a um, to to a folder uh, as bitmap images, and that's really easy to do. Okay, down here on the left hand side in the tabs, we've got one called Create Avi. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to select as bitmap. I want to save them as bitmaps. Um, I'm going to put it to maximum area so it selects the whole screen, like so. I'm going to click on Save Registered. Um, that's automatically going to default to the directory I've just um, ex I've just taken the parent AVI file from. So just to keep that nice and tidy, I'm going to create a new folder for that. So I'm right clicking, right click New Folder. Um, I'm going to call that um, frames for the sake of calling it something. Okay, so make sure we save into that. And then I've got to give my images that I'm saving a file name. So for the sake of argument, I'm going to call these images. Right, so I'm going to click save. Um, you'll see down there it flew up really quickly from 0% um, to 100% um, telling me that those images have saved like so. And if now I am um, have a look in the folder I've saved them in. Here we go, frames up here. You can see, hey presto, there we've got it's saved all the um, 
it's actually 26 but the, uh, the 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 frames that i wanted it to save okay so those are the individual frames out of the movie and if for instance as i say this was for a transit or something like that what you would see is you would gradually see on each frame the bird the plane the iss or you know whatever it was that was transiting the sun um venus for instance gradually moving over the surface of the disc okay that's it for the first stage of this um next stage is i'll show you how to create the animation in photoshop thank you